Well, look at that, it's Ned Dark Raiden here. Today I'll be talking about my disliked figures from Hasbro and other um, three and three quarter inch line. Um, sorry I'm talking a little bit quiet and my volume might be up and down. I have a sore throat. And yeah. Um, pretty much the first one's going to be this Mace Windu. I think he belongs to some battle packs and all from Avengers of the Sith line where obviously he gets his hand cut off. And you can see him screaming in agony there. This figure, you can't really do much with it again due to the fact, yes it is, you can't really stand him up. You will require a stand. And in general, motion moving doesn't really do that much as well. Button in the back. Next up is the Han Solo. This one, again, I will shit on the figures with crappy foot work and foot and pretty much pretty much near impossible to stand but it doesn't really look like him it looks, the head sculpt looks like a um, mm, bit of a monkey to be honest <laughs> um, next up is one of those two dollar lines um, from those figurine statues I believe these can be used as a keychain as well uh, Chewbacca and yeah there's nothing much about this figure I don't think you can even move his arms at all. It'd be good for an extra or a background, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Next up is one of the newer lines from the Star Wars Force Awakens. Oh, Rogue One, I can't really remember. The figure's just pretty much boring. It just looks too much like a Fisher Price toy, in my opinion, especially the helmet. <coughs> Next up, number five is the Clone Wars, the Clone Troopers. Again, I'm not not really a fan of the Clone Troopers in these lines. I pretty much only like Commander Fox, and that's about it, pretty much. It's nothing much. It's pretty hard to stand these guys again. Next up, I believe this is from a KFC promotion. If not, then please correct me. Count Dooku. Yeah, not much of this. It looks like he's going to a nightclub or dancing, one of those creepy old men who owns boats. I'm getting that vibe from this figure. So again, not much from this one. Oh yeah, sorry, as mentioned, there's a little reflex. I believe there was a button here. You squeeze. Um, number seven, Staff Maul. I believe this is from the Phantom Menace line. Oh been several repacks from what I believe there's nothing that much special about this figure as to it being very boring he looks like he just shit his pants he's giving you that look whoops I just shit my pants back's about ordinary as well personally I wouldn't even use this for display um, and I bet this figure will get a lot of shit as well um, Clone Wars General Grievous, or a keychain one, I don't really know, one of those $2 lines. This figure quite breaks easily, it's frail, the head comes off, you store it in a box, quite easily the bore joint is a bit funny. Legs, it's quite near impossible to, st um, to stand. I guess this figure would be good in a way of, you know, deceased Grievous if you're doing photo work, as you can see here barely looks like Grievous, you can hardly see the face from observation here. And yeah, pretty much those are the top eight figures I dislike in my collection. Um, comment down below, I would like to hear everyone else's most disliked figure. This is Darth Raiden, Darth Raiden signing out.